안녕하세요. Welcome to 33JS Concepts. This is the concept number 5. Uh, we already learned the double equals and the three equals, so we're gonna move on to type of, and I am going to add one more here. There's a surprise later. All right, so let's get started. Type of, what is type of? Usually on JavaScript, you need to check for types. You need to know if something is a Boolean, if something is a type, uh, a string, if something is a number and whatever. So how does type of works? It's just very, very simple. The way it works is that you just type type of and then the name or, or 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 the variable that you want so for example i don't know type of 11112 that will be a string so this tells me just the type of whatever i'm doing all right so i could do the same thing type of true that will be type of boolean and it just tells me if i do i don't know function let's type function that will be type of function so i will know stuff um, type of works for most of the primitives. So for example, number, yes, uh, boolean, string, uh, what else? That's it, undefined, I think. All right, so if, you're ever, if you ever need to check something, like what type is it, you can just do type of. Also, type of works by doing this, all right? This also works. Uh, if you like it more with the parentheses, like, I don't know what's better, if you do type of true or if you do type of true. Both of them work and both of them are the same. So it really just depends on your taste. Now, there is a long ass bug on type of, and that bug is that type of no console logs an object. So as always, everything in JavaScript has some kind of a, I don't know, like what the fuck moment, and this is one of them. Actually, this is this type of no equals object is a bug on the JavaScript programming language, and there has been a discussion here. There was a, there was a discussion by the creators of JavaScript, Brendan Ake, I think, and Douglas, Douglas Crockford and Brendan Ake. And they're like the godfathers of JavaScript. And there was a proposal into fixing um, no should return no instead of object. And there was, um, there was a discussion, but it was rejected because if they fix this, maybe they will break many, many programs. So they didn't, they didn't fix it at all. But it is a bug. It is like a what the fuck thing, all right? So this one is a bug. Now, all the stuff that is like a little bit what the fuck is, for example, this. If I do type of as a array, I get object. If I do type of object, I get object, both of them, they will both give me objects. And this is not good. Because sometimes I want to check if something is an array, if something is an object, all right? And, and yeah, like I wanna check that. So this is when, instead of type of, what we use is instance of. So instance of works like type of, except that it doesn't work for the primitives. So type of works for uh, string, boolean, undefined, uh, number, whatever, but instance of doesn't work for them, but instance of works for objects and arrays. So for example, here I can say array instance of array, and it will say true, all right? And if I take an object, for example, is not true. So instance of allows me to check by the constructor. This is a constructor. People don't know this, but in JavaScript, you can also do something like my array. You can do this, or you can do new array. And it'll be the same thing, okay? So in this case, object is not an instance of array. In this case, it will be an instance of object. Let's see if it works, and it works. And now we get into the what the fuck zone. So if I do this, let's see what happens. Instance of a string, no, for some reason. If I do true instance of Boolean, for some reason true is not an instance of Boolean, but there you go. So if you want to check 
uh, numbers or booleans or undefined or functions or what else? Strings, yes, and numbers. Then for all of them, you will use type of. But if you want to check if something is an array, then you will use array, whatever array you want. Right? You will do array instance of array. The same with objects. And that's it. This concept is very, very simple, very, very easy. Uh, we already explained this on the previous concept that was a little bit longer. So that's it. Type of plus instance of, all right? Get these two in your belt. And remember, if somebody asks you on an interview, type of no, what is it? It's a fucking object. Maybe they will, maybe the interview people will ask you this. I don't know. But yes. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one where we are going to look into function scope, block scope, and lexical scope. What is lexical scope? Jesus. Wow. All right. See you on the next video. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.